Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ian, digital marketing consultant and agency owner. And today in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the web's most popular checkout systems, Thrivecart. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Thrivecart, it's an extremely popular checkout system for everything from digital courses to consulting services to even e-commerce products. And it's popular for a number of reasons, including it's easy upsells, downsells, tracking, a whole bunch of things. So we're gonna get into how to use this, who I suggest uses Thrivecart, and what kind of business it's going to be best for. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you the one alternative type of software you can use if you aren't a fan of Thrivecart. It might even be a better alternative for your business. So again, that's going to be at the end of this video. So if you guys are interested in learning about Thrivecart, who it's perfect for, stick around because we're about to get into this right now. What's going on guys? Here we are behind my laptop. Let me pull up Thrivecart real quick. So when you guys get into Thrivecart, what you're gonna notice first is the product view. And this is really gonna be the main view that you're gonna work out of, uh, regardless of what kind of shopping cart you're using, but especially for Thrivecart, your product view is the main thing you're gonna, you're gonna start with. So we're gonna go in here and you're gonna either edit a product or you're gonna start setting up your logic for products. And what I mean by that is product logic is probably the biggest benefit of using Thrivecart. You can see here up on the top, we have tabs for products, upsells, downsells, as well as split tests and coupon codes. Overall are you know, pretty self-explanatory, but the nice thing is that Thrivecart lets you use any combinations you want of your products, upsells, and downsells. So instead of having to create these custom funnels where you go through and build each step and you have to repeat upsells and downsells for your different funnels, you can just create them once and then mix and match, which is awesome if you have a lot of different products and you want to test different steps in your funnel and different sequences. So once you figure that out, the main thing that you're gonna be doing is coming in here and editing products. And what I like about the products to set up is that they keep everything separated and it's very clear what you're working on at any time. You see here that you have separate tabs for options, pricing, bump, processor, and affiliates. Each one of these, when you come in here, is only gonna have a few options, so it keeps it really easy to navigate the back end of the system. The thing that really stands out to me about Thrivecart is the way that they do their tracking. Now, in a previous video, I talked about Samcart, which is a very similar setup, but if you're using something like a content management system like WordPress or Webflow, or you're using something like ClickFunnels, you're not gonna have this type of detailed tracking out of the box, and you're gonna have to set this up on your own, which if you don't have a developer or someone working on your analytics for you, is gonna be very difficult. It's gonna be a huge waste of time. It's really cheaper to just pay for a real checkout system like Thrivecart or uh, like Samcart, which I mentioned uh, in the other video. So anyway, all you're gonna have to do is once you're in the product setting, you're gonna go over here to checkout, you're gonna go over to tracking, and you're gonna see a number of different options for the different platforms that you can use. Uh, another one that you're gonna be able to do is, let me go back to the product page. And let's go to, uh, this one's not selected. Let's try this one, 30 minute coaching call. Okay, so here I am in the product tab and it's gonna be really easy. All you have to do is go into edit and then you're gonna go to checkout and you're gonna go to tracking. And what's nice here is when you come into tracking, you're gonna see that you have all these different platforms listed. And all you have to do is go click on the platform you wanna use and it's gonna ask you for your account ID. So you can see here, most of you guys are gonna be wanting to use Facebook ads and track something that you're, you know, whether it's an initiate checkout or an ad to cart or a product purchase. And you're gonna to wanna to know things like how much you know the product costs, what the price was, the nice thing about a platform like this is that it already has integrations built in. So if you just check this box for, yes, I want Facebook tracking integrated, you give your pixel ID, it's going to automatically send all the purchase information like the product. Uh, if you have a product ID, the product name, the actual price of the product, the currency you're using, all that's going to get sent to the platform. And you can see here, we have the same thing for Google. You can use custom scripts. Uh, it has other integrations with BWO and they're building more integrations for this platform every day. This was literally just released this week. If you don't want to use any of the integrations, you can come down here to tracking scripts and you can enter the codes that you want on the different pages of your checkout. So the three defaults that it gives you are all pages tracking, which you're going to put in if you just want your something like a basic Facebook pixel code on your page. It's going to give you checkout page tracking, which most people are going to use for an initiate checkout or an add to cart event. And then down here, it's going to have the order confirmation track. Of course, you can use for your product purchase. And what's nice about the way that they do this is I'm going to take you out to the product page so you can see this. When we go to all the products. I mentioned at the start of this video that Thrivecart allows you to segment all your products by products, upsells, and downsells, and then allows you to create custom logic so that you can change the order of those funnels. Another nice thing it does is it allows you to edit the products individually so that if I'm going in here to one of the upsells and I want to go to, let's customize it and we go to tracking, you're going to have those same two areas where you can enter track 
tracking code, one for the initiate checkout page and then one for the order confirmation page. And what this does is it allows you to have separate purchase events for all your upsells, downsells, and your main products. And it allows you to then mix and match those in different logic for different funnels without having to mess with any of the tracking. So many of you who are looking at these checkouts have probably messed with something like WordPress or ClickFunnels. And I can tell you from experience on those systems, if you're trying to figure out what you're doing with paid advertising, it's going to be way more difficult to set up all these pages, make sure you're tracking what's happening with your conversions or your initiate checkouts or anything like that. It's not going to be a fun experience. Now, for the actual page editor, similar to uh, Samcart, which is the other system that I always compare to Thrivecart. Thrivecart is not, it's not going to be the easiest system for editing your design. It's not a CMS. It's not built to be design heavy. It's built to give you like a minimal viable checkout experience so that your customers, you know, it's not a disruptive experience, but it's not going to be the most highly customizable. So what most people we work with end up doing is creating an entire checkout page in something like Photoshop or another editor, and then actually just loading that page into the editor here so that they don't have to use Thrivecart's uh, basic editor. Now, if you want to do it, uh, you can. It's not that bad. I personally would use it for products, but if you're someone that's really particular about design, you're probably going to be a little underwhelmed with what they're giving you by default in Thrivecart. So overall, my take on Thrivecart is that it's an excellent system, but it's only for certain types of businesses. So the main types of businesses that are really going to benefit from Thrivecart are going to be uh, if you're selling a digital product like a course, ebook, some sort of digital coaching program where you're going to have to send someone a login, really anything where you don't have hundreds or thousands of products. If, you, if you're getting into you know, 40, 50, 100 products, 1,000 products, you're going to want a real storefront like Shopify or Magento. But overall, if you're using digital products and you're integrating with any kind of course backend like Kajabi or Teachable, this is going to be an excellent platform for you to use. Finally, at the start of the video, I talked about there's one other platform you guys can use that is an alternative. You don't like Thrivecart, you don't want to use it in your business. Uh, I, I gave a hint. I've been talking about it the whole time. It's Sampart. Sampart is going to be a great alternative. It's similar price point and it has some additional features on the design and for the actual checkout pages you're setting up. So if you really don't like that in Thrivecart, I suggest you go and check out Sampart. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure if you haven't already to hit the like button and comment below letting me know what else you'd like to see or what other questions you have about Thrivecart. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you get fired anytime you come out with new videos on data-driven marketing, paid acquisition, or just any of these other software walkthroughs. So thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon.